Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. <gasps> Please forgive me. Whoa, that was a little intense. <laughs> Welcome to today's gotcha, and in today's gotcha, we're going to get into the love story of a maid. A maid who wants to do her best in this world, but faced with all the adversaries of a handsome prince and another handsome maid, who knows what'll happen. Really, I'm going to let this gotcha speak for itself, because honestly, it's just that great. Enjoy! Ah, Flo! Good morning! Morning, Mom. Are you ready for your big exam today? Huh? What exam? The one at school. You know the exam you take in order to become a maid at one of the royal families? <gasps> Wait, that's today? Mm-hmm. But I haven't studied for it. Y you what? Well, I didn't realize the exam was today. Oh, I have to get ready. <laughs> oh, that silly girl. Good morning, beautiful wife maid of mine. Good morning, handsome husband maid. Where is our strong, sassy, precious daughter? She's getting ready for school today. Oh, yes. Isn't her maid exam today? I'm so excited to see what royal family she gets. I know, right? But I do hope she does well. She said she didn't study for the exam. Oh, no. She... she's stupid. Yes, I know. What do we do? We have to make sure she passes the exam or else there's no other career for her. That's right. In our society, you are either a maid or royalty. Nothing else. That is the lore we are establishing right now. But what can we do? I... I don't know. All right, I'm ready. M morning, Dad. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's Dad? It's nothing, sweetheart. Just remember that if all else fails on the exam, the default answer is always option C. <gasps> That's the first bell. Sorry, Mom. Dad, I have to get going to maid school to take my maid exam as a maid. See you guys later. <laughs> oh, not my precious baby. I don't want her to fail and be stupid. One of those is okay, but not both. We have to trust in her heart that she'll pass. Wait, what does trusting in her heart have to do with anything? Shouldn't we trust in her brain? I was talking about her heart brain. Oh, that makes sense. You are so smart, honey. I know. Phew! Looks like I made it in time. Morning, Ev. Morning, Caitlin. Koi Chan. Are you ready for the big exams today? Uh, not really. I'm actually pretty nervous about it. <gasps> Ev, no. Don't look now, but your crush is coming this way. Uh huh? Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hi, Jean. You guys ready for the big exam today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, talk to you ladies later. Mal, get up! Yeah, you look desperate! I can't help it, he's just so perfect. I don't blame you. He's hot, and he's the best maid in the school. But he'll never notice a maid like me. <gasps> the exam is about to start! Let's go! All right, Clay, settle down. Today is the day you're going to be matched with your royal family. If you fail the test, you can't become a maid. And you will probably die. What? Yep. Excuse me, sir. I never really understood that. So we can't become, like, anything else? Nah, uh, like, if you don't pass this exam, you are physically incapable of doing anything else. I... I don't see how that works. Look, don't mess with the established lore, all right? All right, cool. Now, here are the papers. Good luck, everyone. Oh, no. I didn't study at all for this exam. What am I going to do? Well, here goes nothing. After many long hours of taking the test... All right, pencils down! Pass your papers on up here. <gasps> She's stupid! Alright, time to both grade your papers and announce who the royal family you will be with is. Wake up, Athmau! Alright, first up. 
Oh my god! This paper is perfect! Huh? I need to tell the queen! What's going on? Apparently, one of the tests was so good, he almost died. I don't think that's what- There! There she is! Huh? Come with me, miss. You are actually very importante. Wait, what? Your test was so good that you're being assigned to the best royal family. How? How is my test even good? Look! You drew a kitty face on it. That is very powerful. What? What? How? It signifies that she thinks outside of just questions. She has answers. I, I, I don't understand. Come with me! <coughs> Later. My queen, I have brought you the most best maid in the land, fresh out of maid school. Ah, perfect. I can't believe how great this is. Hello, your majesty. Oh, and she's so polite, too. Strong, sassy, polite girl. That's exactly what I need right now. Huh? Listen, my son is very stupid. He doesn't want to get married to pass his prince exam. Um, shouldn't getting married be his choice? It's not. Oh. That's right, he's not very smart, and I need someone who thinks outside of the box to get him to marry one of the suitors I have lined up for him, so he can evolve into a king. So what should I do? Hmm, maybe you should go talk to him. You both look around the same age, so he can probably relate to you more. What happens if I can't make him marry someone? Hmm? Oh, absolutely nothing. Phew! <sighs> I'll probably just destroy your family or something simple like that. All right, now good luck. He's in his room upstairs. Hello? Oh, go away, Mom. Actually, I'm not your mom. <gasps> Who are you? I am your family's maid, and I'm here to help you with whatever you're suffering from right now. You wouldn't even understand. I'm far too complex to understand. You're scared of getting married, right? How did you read my complexity? I can see through you. You aren't as tough as you make yourself seem. <laughs> well, what would a maid like you know anyways? She knows a lot. Enough to get the topest score on our test exams. <gasps> I'm Jean! Uh, who are you? Jean, what are you doing here? My name is Jean. I am also assigned to this family as the maid, too. You mean we're- Maids of this royal family together? Yes. I'm so lucky! Look, I don't want either of you to try to convince me of anything. I'm not getting married, and that is fine. Afmau, I think you should be the one to handle this. You know more about love than anyone else in this room. No, I don't. I haven't really had a relationship or anything. See? You are the most experienced. I'll leave you alone, but know that I'll be in the kitchen if you need a- Hot guy's shoulder to cry on. Wow, you really believe in me. There's no way you can mess this up. Good luck. All right, listen up. You are going to get married. No. <laughs> hey, hey, it's all right. I tried everything and he didn't listen. Well, maybe it just takes time. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you take him on a date so he can see how great being in a relationship can be? Huh? But... but... I mean, not that that would make me totally jealous and want to be with you or anything. Date me! What? Look, just let me show you the world. I can show you what it would be like if you were married. Yeah, right! It can't be any different than normal single life. Trust me, it's different. Get up, no room. Now it's time, it's time to show the way. Wow. I never thought relationships could be that cool. See? You know what? I think I'm gonna give getting married a chance. Thank you, Maid Hathmal. I really enjoyed my time with you. You're welcome. Now, go see what suitor your mom has for you. Wow, you, you are amazing. I was? I think I'm falling in love with you. Huh? Will you date me? Yes! Attention, everyone! The prince has chosen a princess! Yes! You did it! Oh, I can't believe it. My son has finally chosen a suitor. Yes, 
I have. Well, go ahead and tell everyone. M my love is... is... Her. What? what? The maid? You can't! I'm in love with her after our five-minute date! It's forbidden! I won't allow this! There is nothing you can do! Hmm, you're right. <laughs> She's my girlfriend! How long have you been dating? For like, two whole minutes. A serious relationship? I see. We are very serious! If we made it to five minutes, we'd have been able to have gotten married. Well, our date was five whole minutes. Which means... You really do care about her. What? Seriously, what's going on? I can legally marry her now. Huh? You have defeated me. No, Jean! <laughs> no, not Jean! Mm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill him with logic. I can't believe you've done this! Will you marry me? Wait, I can do something about this. <clears throat> it is against the law for a maid to marry royalty. Oh no, I won't let you get away with this. <laughs> oh no. N no. Maid Afmal, who will be the dishwasher now? Quick, get a doctor. Uh, um, th there are no doctors. The only two occupations in this world are maids and royalty. Oh, well that's stupid. We really didn't think one out as society now, did we? I'm sorry. This would never have happened if I didn't pass my test. You were the only one who taught me how to love. And now you're teaching me how to heartbreak. Don't cry over me, Prince Aaron. You'll find someone to love. Someone who deserves you. Maybe I can save her. With a kiss. I am so chilly right now. <gasps> you're alive. Yes, but not only that. I decided I will no longer be a maid. What? 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 While I was a dead ghost, I went to four years of medical school in ghost time. And now I'm going to become the doctor this world needs. Aaron, Jean, I loved you both. And maybe in the future I'll marry one of you. But for now, I need to follow my heart to be a doctor. Uh, I understand. I'll let you go. I'll always be the one to haunt you. Thank you. Now, to save and so Afmao went on to become the world's first doctor. She was very smart and helped to change society as a whole. One thing she forgot though was to make health insurance. So Prince Aaron helped her with that and he opened an insurance firm. Jean came back to life and he went on to become a race car driver. But he got into an accident and died again. But thank God. Goodness, Afma was around to undie him. But Jean didn't have health insurance, so he had to pay for everything out of pocket. Caitlin opened up a law school and became a cop, and Kawai Chan became a criminal. Everyone was happy. What I am trying to do is say I love you.